and over. Hi, Chloe. Oh, hi. It doesn't go back to training today. How come you're home? I'm not feeling well. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, coach is just worried about you. You've been missing training for a few weeks now. And, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, 
The last couple of weeks, you seem like a completely different person, and I'm fine. I mean, you just used to be so on the ball, yeah, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Because okay, just no, don't be like that. Sure. Seriously. I mean, I'm just worried because I said I'm fine. Dude, chill. <laughs> chill. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. <coughs> I'm chilling. First time in a long, long time. Chilling. Deadlines. Pestering. Goddamn expectations. I'm chilling. Without anyone breathing down my neck. Without anyone hounding me for this and that. Without anyone constantly on my ass. For once, I'm doing exactly what I want to do. And what I want to do right now is just to chill. Such a long day. My client's been such an asshole. I know. What happened then? I'm sorry, I'm too tired to get into it. Staring back yet, I want to ask him about this school trip that the other moms have been talking about. Um, no, I don't think I heard it coming. That's strange. It's 8 pm already. What on earth will he be? Um, I think he mentioned something about this new program that you joined. Mun or something like that. Derek Joy Model UN. That useless boy is finally thinking about his future. I really thought he wouldn't amount to anything. Thank God he's pulling up his socks. I'm sure he would have straightened himself out eventually. I'm sure. He would have gone on and studied comparative literature or something ridiculous like that. I did the Exactly. <laughs> If it wasn't fun for my guidance, do you think I'd want to turn himself around? I don't know, but I feel a little worried. Don't you think he's been a bit off lately? Off? How so? <laughs> Haven't you noticed that the sun's been acting weird? What do you mean? I joined activities even though you rather speak. Oh, it's such a sign. Pulling up the socks for once is not the laughing stock. What a shame to be his mother. I wish he could be like his brother. But he was a good for nothing boy. Nothing's wrong. Please listen to me, my girl. You know you've never listened. Matter how much I've tried. Oh, you wouldn't hear me out for one. No, I'm not. 
This hard, but I. If you carry on like this, you're never going to be good enough to take over. That's all you ever care about. What about what? That, what about what I want? You don't know what you want. You're still a child. Your dreams change every day. You haven't lived a day in the real world. Mummy has sheltered you from everything. One day you understand. But why? I don't want to work in the company. There's so many other things I want to explore. What if I want one? One. One. I've been spoiled you too much! The world doesn't care what you want! You're so ungrateful! You just well wake up and appreciate what you have! Yeah, trust me. All of this is really making me appreciate what I have. Don't you dare you stay at home with me! I'm telling you now, you better fuck up before you end up like. like him! What do you say? Do you know what I mean? Look at your neighbor, he's let go of himself. Can't imagine what kind of father he is. Poor Chloe. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hi, can you read? Um, you left this at my gallery. Uh, yeah, I'll put my mind back. Thanks, thanks. I did, of course. <coughs> I'm sorry, by the way. Okay. About how my family acted. You know, because you know how it is. Taking a trash out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll walk in. Okay. Hey, Jack. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'll walk in. Yeah, I'll walk in. So, my house. Sorry. You go first. Now to us, so how are the boys? Good, good. Justin's as good as ever, and Derek's actually doing amazing. Oh, my wife loves it. Hmm. You must be so proud of them, of course. Although, although... <sighs> I don't know, like I said, Derek's been amazing, but... The changes, they've been so sudden, so drastic. I feel like he's not himself anymore. It's like I, like I just lost my son overnight. Mm. Really, uh, my Chloe's also been acting a bit weird lately. She's 
not going out that much. Haven't been uh, cooking dinner. And the teacher even called me recently. Said that her grades are slipping. I just received the comment there. The they said Derek's grades are skyrocketing. But <laughs> so the way we are describing it, is as if our kids swap personalities or something. Huh? <laughs> How can they just tombaling like that? Yeah, of course. I don't have some wine. Hey, no need, no need, no need, don't worry. I always got two one. Sit down, sit down. Hey, 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 yeah, I try to, uh, but, but it's so hard. How so? Every time I try to talk to her, she's on her phone. <laughs> I had a whole generation forever on their phones. Uh. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Like they got some big business uh, to settle like that. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, but honestly, right, sometimes it helps to try to relate to them more. You gotta learn their language, maybe more hip. You know? <laughs> so learn their language. Yeah, this generation, they have their own new vocabulary. You know, the other day, Justin was telling me about this new word that they like to use. Uh. Oh. Uh, he likes to say, Slay. <laughs> Slay? Draw it out a bit more, you know? Slay. You're damn good, uh, and we things that like you get them, huh? Nah, my, my wife was always better at this kind of things. <laughs> Relating to Chloe. Eh? It's just been so tough talking to her ever since she passed. Shit. Sorry man, I didn't mean to bring it up. Okay, it's okay. It's been three years already. Time flies. Can you believe it? She's all grown up now, and sometimes I, I just feel like I haven't been there for her. I, I just don't know what to do, but I know that's no excuse. I'm sorry, but you know, it's, it's not too late. Three years already, uh, and we, three years. I've missed my chance. I should have been there from the start when, when my wife first passed on, but, but I wasn't. Too late. You know, huh? She used to greet me every day. Now, she don't even say hi to me anymore. She used to hug me every morning before she go to school. Every morning. You know, I, I won't pretend it's the same thing, but I kind of get how you feel. Yeah, you know, every day I do my best for the boys, for Helen, for Derek especially, but... I know that he's hurting. I know that he's lost, Derek. I know that he needs me in his corner. He needs his dad, and, and and I just haven't been good enough. I'm sorry, but it's not too late. It's not too late for me, and it certainly isn't too late for you. Our kids still need us, yeah. And we're gonna be there for them. You're right. So we only yes, only yes, one parent left. It's not too late. <coughs> I, must, I must move forward. Pick up Jesus. Look at us. Two old men. <laughs> Filled with regrets. <laughs> just just trying to do our best. 
Fermo dis. C'è stile. Let me be 
Oui. Mon, 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 please, can we talk? Mom, I'll say this thing. Just for a moment. Speed up. It's getting late. I need to go. Look, Mom, I know what I expect of you. Oh, so now you care about Mom, what I want. Listen to me. Mom, I know what you want from me. And to some extent, I understand it too. You worked so hard to set me up for success. You paved the clear path for me. But that's not going to be my path. Listen, you don't. No, you listen. I'm not asking. This isn't a question. Just listen. I'm sorry, okay? I tried my best to follow in your footsteps. I really, really have. Do you think I want to be doing this? I have to raise my voice and my own mother just to get one sentence in. I see the way you look at me all the bloody time. I know I'm just a disappointment to you. Do you remember what I wanted to do today instead of cons? I wanted to do a joint art, but maybe joint bed. Or when I, even when I want to go to body. Of course you don't. Because you shut me down each and every time without a second thought. If it wasn't part of your plan, it just simply wasn't going to happen. Truth Mom, you think you barely knew me at all. Hell, I barely even know myself. I've never had the time or space to figure anything out. It's always just been your expectations, and anything short of that has just been unacceptable, invalid, wrong. But I'm done with that. I'm sorry, Mom, but I really just can't be you. I'm not that miracle kid you thought I was these past couple of weeks. I don't know who I am or what I want to be. But I'm going to take my time to figure it all out. And I hope you'll be okay with that. Today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You okay? Okay, yeah.
guests of honor, Ms. Cheryl Lee, Acting High Commissioner of the Republic of Singapore to London, and Grace Lin, Councillor of the High Commission of the Republic of Singapore in the United Kingdom, for coming down today to watch our production. We would also like to express our gratitude to our sponsors, Singapore Global Network, Wig Wig, T4, Old Chunky, Great Delicious, Good Day Bookies, and Jetfire Productions. And now, moving on to the people who made this amazing production possible. Give a round of applause to our costume and makeup division.